Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here with another episode. Today we are going to install French drains in my house. I think it's going to take more than one day because the weather is not exactly cooperating and me and Annie are going to be digging the trenches. Honestly, it'll probably be just me for the majority. Yeah, we're headed to a company called French Drain Man, which if you go online, he's got like over 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. I found him uh, by happenstance, and I told you that story in a previous episode already. I picked up my trailer, so I have a trailer uh, on the back of the truck. It's kind of funny, this van is so huge that my big trailer that I, my dad built long, long, like 15, 20 years ago, and we used to haul stuff. You know, you hook it to the back of a pickup truck, it looks pretty big. You hook it to the back of the van, it looks like I'm towing a, a, a shopping cart behind me. <laughs> Anyways. So we are uh, headed to uh, French Drain Man to pick up all the components. Then um, we are going to go to uh, the house and lay them all out, show you kind of what the project is. And then uh, hopefully this video will be a nice comprehensive showing of how French drains work, how they install. And uh, then I'll make a follow up video in a year and I can tell you if they've made a difference. I think they, I think they will. Drainage on the property is something that I think is important, especially in Michigan. There's all sorts of flooding issues and drainage and whatnot. And I think if I can take my new house and install a really nice drainage system, it'll pay off dividends down the road. So anyways, we're about five minutes away. Here we go. I think that location did not work. That was their office. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't think that was where I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of uh, French drain material. So I gotta drive down a dirt road and, and pick it up there to a warehouse. Yeah, look at that trailer. <laughs> that huge trailer looks pretty small. I hope it'll hold all the French drain stuff. I think it should. 400 feet of uh, of tubing and then a bunch of other stuff. Maybe I put all the other stuff in the van. Now they have uh, systems that they install. They so like they do full service, but they also supply to um, builders and contractors all over the United States. I uh, would like to do a DIY, full DIY kit, and they sell those as well. It's a lot cheaper than say having them do the full service. So that's why I decided to just go and pick it all up. They could even deliver this stuff to my house for a fee, but uh, I figured it would be kind of neat to go directly to their operation and, and pick up all the drain material. I know a lot of people think like there is, you know, a French drain is a French drain or a, or a uh, yard drainage is yard drainage. But from what I've looked into, the caliber and grade of the material that they use here at French Drain Man is sort of, like it's proprietary, like they literally designed a lot of the stuff that uh, that they use because they do drainage and they have done drainage for so long. I mean, I could go to Home Depot and buy, you know, four inch uh, corrugated pipe and uh, do something sort of similar, but uh, I'd rather go through the companies that do this for a living and uh, take their advice. So that's why I'm going to French Drain Man. Okay, this is very heavy duty stuff. This is certainly not like a corrugated pipe you get at Home Depot. <laughs> so we got 200 feet of uh, perforated, and we got 200 feet of the solid. Of yep. the solid. And we got five of the- uh... The leaf filters. Okay, oh, oh, these are the, the leaf, filters. leaf yes. filters, okay. And end caps and stuff are probably all in here, right? Elbows, your dual wall end caps, uh -huh. these are your catch basins, fabric, and your 
I think those ones are wise. Yeah. Yep, wise. those are wise. Yep. Which one is the one that connects to the uh, sewer? The PVC uh, adapter. One the, those are, these are the, that's uh, your not quite a 90. Not yet, quite those. a 90. Those are your risers, the pop ups. Pop ups. Um, Here's the, oh, oh, this is it, right? Yep. That's it. All right. I just need you to sign anywhere sure. on this paper to confirm that you picked up. Okay. All righty, and you're okay. set to go. Thanks so much. So what we're doing for my project is we're doing a yard drainage system from the gutters directly out, like solid pipe, basically. And then we're doing a French drain. A French drain is more aggressive. It's about full bodied, full bodied yard drainage. And you can see here, these are solid pipes, which will be the, uh, just the gutter yard drainage system. And then this will be the French drain drainage system. And you can see these all have little slits in them. Basically, it gets a little bit more aggressive into the groundwater system and it's and it takes all that that standing water that's normally sitting in your yard and it just sends it on its way. It gives it a place to go. Okay, so we have got all of our uh, all of our stuff. Now we go back to the house and start digging trenches. Uh, basically, it's just trench work. I want to lay out every every pipe I have here and stretch it out where it's going to be stretched out and then once I do that I'll just sort of etch a line where where they're all laying and then move them all back and put them back in storage and then start digging. That's what I'll be doing. Doing a lot of digging. So this is the plan um, off of the left side of the house. We have a, a yard drain that's going to go all the way down to the back of the yard and then pop out right at the French drain. We have a yard drain on the right side of the house. It's going to go all the way down, connect with the downspouts and end at the storm drain. Then we have two pipes that will be laid side by side, four inches that are perforated and that'll be the French drain. And that'll run around this area because that's where everything sort of pools up. And it'll take all that water and deliver it to the storm drain as well. The gutters will drain into the French drain as well. And everything will work together to get, the, get everything that's standing into the storm drain. I have a Chinese laborer that's digging all the trenches for me. Hama. I bought a trenching shovel and a, and a spade. Is it is it still rocky even when you get that deep, yeah. or is it just the top part? No, it's, it's rocky, rocky all the way down. Yeah. It didn't take long for me to realize that using a, a hand to dig all of those trenches probably not smart when they have trenchers. So this trencher doesn't doesn't create such a wide trench, but I think if I can run a couple of stripes down, and then like one here and then four inches there and then dig out the middle, I don't know. I'll play with it. Either way, the trencher is going to do probably 90% of the trenching job, trenching work, maybe 80%. And then I can I can fill in the, the middle part. Jayo. So this uh, trench machine only cuts a trench about three to four inches uh, wide. So I think I'm going to have to uh, run a bunch of 
tabs to cut the, the French train. The French train's got to be like 10 inches wide, so it's got to be a little bit more uh, more wide. But this is doing a pretty pretty good job, actually. Annie said she's working harder than she's ever worked. What? I'm not even a farmer kid. <laughs> my generation from my grandpa, we don't have a land. We're fishing men. Well, you don't have to do this, A.B. Well, I'm part of the family. <laughs> Let me finish this straight and one. I have to watch you. What are you doing? Why? And if you made a mistake, I will be stopped. You? you wouldn't even know if I made a mistake. Well, I can tell from your face. Yeah, I dug some holes here just to make sure there wasn't any gas or drainage coming off the house or water coming off the house. So. Yeah, and I pulled up the internet cable because the internet cable would have been cut right there. Jayo, well, you, you can be the foreman, A.B., foreman. It's like the manager. You just sit around, watch me. I have coffee. Have some coffee. A tornado siren went off. Annie thought we were going to war. I think it's an earthquake. Earthquake. I think the first Saturday of the month, they test the, uh, the siren, the emergency siren. The storm drain here is muddy, and I am bogging down. Maybe I'll just have to dig this stuff by hand. I gotta dig around that storm drain until I find the uh, inlet. Then I hook that coupling to it. All right, let's go. Time for the French drains. The French drain's gotta be the width of these two pipes and a little bit more on all sides. Alright, so I only had the trencher for four hours. I was able to cut a single trench basically everywhere I need. The French drains need to be widened considerably. So that's going to take some effort. I, I probably, the, the trencher saved me, I don't know, probably 50% of the job, which is great, but didn't exactly <laughs> save me uh, like 80 or 90%, like I was thinking before. I'll still have to put in some effort. I'll get the, anyways, I'll get the trencher loaded up, take it back to Home Depot, and we'll be done with that. French Drain Man exclusive booties. My back is sore from yesterday. Oh my me, I'm just planting. You're planting the lawn? Our daughter's gonna grow up to be a fantastic farmer. You like digging? Yeah, it's my new favorite thing. I've got the French drain laid out in the trench. 